Hi, I'm Dan and I'm the Product Marketing Manager at Kaler and we're back for more tips on how to improve readability of your Confluence pages. Today we'll talk about another one of our macro suite macros, Page Divider. In this video, you'll learn how to divide your content with Page Divider and conquer the art of creating engaging Confluence pages. So I'm just inserting my Page Divider onto my Confluence page. Here it is. And now I'm going to choose the layout structure. So I want both text and icon to be visible. And I also want my positioning to be centered. I'm changing the font color and also the icon color to blue. And I'm going to change the color of the divider to gray. I'm also changing the line weight and also decreasing the line width. And choosing the center alignment. By clicking on the icon, I can change it or add an emoji. So I'm just adding the book emoji and clicking onto the text in order to change it. So I'm writing in app documentation. And actually now that I'm looking at it, um, I could maybe use an icon instead of an emoji. So I'm just going to search for an appropriate icon maybe this one or that one, but actually the emoji looked the best. So I'm going to save it like this and publish it. And by the looks of it, I did a good job. Yes, looks great. I hope you've enjoyed watching. In case you would like to learn more or have any questions, just reach out to us and book a free demo with our Confluence experts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.